Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm back filming an actual video in front of the camera. Um, not that this is a good thing, I'm not doing something fun. Um, I am talking about something very upsetting. Um, again, I don't know why I, I'm always the person who ends up talking about eating disorders, even though I literally don't have an eating disorder. Um, it's just something that you know, I have had other mental illnesses, and eating disorders are a mental illness, and I'm empathetic towards anyone who's struggling with any sort of, you know, it's genuinely something that's really scary. So, yeah, um, big trigger warning. I'm not gonna go into detail about, you know, appearances or anything, but I am going to talk about some of the things people are saying, what, ena what, what enabling is, the lack of empathy, etc. So, if you guys are just triggered by any sort of talk of eating disorders or... I don't know, things like abuse or manipulation or I don't know. Just don't watch the video because um it's it's gonna get bad. So um this is I'm I'm making a video about Eugenia Cooney and I'm not doing it for clicks. I'm not doing it because I'm like, oh my god, Eugenia Cooney like Onision used to. Um back when Onision was actually on YouTube. As far as I know, Onision has not returned to YouTube. If anyone knows anything about that, let me know. But Eugenia, um yeah, so I'm not gonna make any actual comments about her body or how she looks, and I'll get to that in a bit, you know, that, oh my god, I don't want to, like, the talking about enabling and all that, but, um, I just want to say the situation does not look good right now with her eating disorder. She, she just, she seems to be at about the same level of illness that she was before her treatment. So, um, that, I'll just put it that way. So, what I, what is really alarming about this whole situation is um, I feel like Eugenia's mother is enabling her. It's quite possible that her mother is using her for money. That is honestly quite possible. Um, there's been a lot of allegations. There's been a lot of stuff that's come out, you know, saying like things about things her mother has said or like that she she wants money and all that. And you know, if she can parade, I know it sounds disgusting, but if you know she can use Eugenia for, for clicks or for clickbait basically the, the implications of that her mother was enabling her eating disorder now I've also I was told um creep show art in her video she said that she's not allowed to leave her room without her mother's permission which again this is a 26 year old woman so genuinely what the fuck and I don't think it's because oh she's too sick I, I think her mother is literally enabling her disorder I don't think her mother's trying to help her because if her mother was trying to help her she wouldn't be on YouTube making content like this. She wouldn't be on YouTube making, if her mother really wanted to help her, she would not even be home. She would be in treatment and she would not be on YouTube making content like this. So um, it's just, it is extremely disturbing that the, the fact that she's potentially not allowed out of her room and uh, we don't know. So I wanna talk about some of the comments I've been seeing because it was actually really disturbing. Now, I'm not subscribed to Eugenia, but I did look at one of her recent videos because I didn't watch the video, but I just went to the comments to see what people were saying. And um, it's honestly really frustrating for me to see because um, I feel like there is a severe lack of empathy. Now, I'm not going to be going into the allegations about Eugenia having predators on her stream and all that because that is a completely different can of worms that I'm not going to get into but if we're talking strictly about the eating disorder stuff I'm also not going to talk about Jacqueline because like her relationship with Jacqueline the fact that Jacqueline tried to help the fact that there was an intervention and that Eugenia is basically back to where she was I'm not I'm not going to get into that at all by the way no hate this isn't hate towards Jacqueline and I'm not blindly, I'm not blindly defending Eugenia, I definitely don't watch her anymore, I don't think anyone should really watch her because giving her watch time is not helping, I did just want to see what people were commenting, um, so I genuinely think giving Eugenia watch time is very harmful because you're just enabling her to keep making videos like she is, and, um, it's honestly really disturbing and she's back to you know having you know thumbnails that are you know clickbaity she has she's back to doing cosplay like full body reveal you know that's kind of what she's back to doing um which is you know not not good it's definitely um enabling you know it's definitely something that could trigger other people who struggle with eating disorders it's something that could be seen as thinspo 
um, people are obviously going to take it as then spell, but um, which is not good. It's not good that there's someone on the internet who's who's you know has this level of a platform who is having basically promoting then spell and that's not a problem now. I think this should be a bigger issue with YouTube, but YouTube should not be promoting her content. Um, but. And I mean, that's for her own good as well as her fans. But I'm just saying that what's really concerning is the amount of comments I've seen, which, you know, actually are talking about her appearance or are pointing out, oh, look how sick she looks, blah, 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 look at this, this, this. And they're pointing out details about her physical appearance, um, which I want to I wanna talk about um, something because it's something that, um, you know, in my opinion, any comments about her body, positive or negative, are not good. They're going to enable her. Because if you say something positive, like you're beautiful, I know it's nice to say, oh, you're beautiful, that's a nice positive thing to say. But if someone is struggling to this degree with an eating disorder, um, telling them that they're beautiful is just going to enable them, enable them. They're going to think they're on the right track, and they're going to think, oh, well, I guess I'm doing the right thing. The problem with the negative comments is that According, again, when I watched Creep Show Art's video, she talked about this. Shannon talked about this herself, and Shannon said she's literally had an eating disorder herself, and that um, she um, had this thing. And basically what happened is that people will say, oh, you look so sick, or will say something like that. You look so, th like, they say it as a negative thing, like, we're concerned for your health. But the person with the eating disorder will take it as a positive thing because their perception is skewed. Their perception is skewed to a point where they'll say, oh, you say I look sick, I want to look that way, or like, that's good, I'm doing, I'm succeeding at my eating disorder or some shit, which is, again, really disturbing, but it's a case of having an incredibly skewed perception when you're severely ill in any capacity. For instance, it's like when people have severe depression and they have a skewed perception of the universe, they think that their suicide won't affect other people. Like, basically, they'll think that, oh, people will get over it because nobody wants me and no one cares about me, which of course is false and it's a fake, you know, it is a, it is a incorrect perception that your brain has and it's incredibly harmful. Now, of course, this is something that you know when someone um, and I know you're like, why are you talking about suicide? I'm not saying an eating disorder is the same thing, but it is self-destructive behavior. So if, you know, if someone commits suicide, obviously, unless they have like no friends and literally no one cares about them, which feels unlikely in most cases, obviously someone is going to care and it's going to be hurtful and it can really cause, you know, a lot of struggles for, you know, their friends, family, whatever, fans, if it's a famous person, you get the point. And, um... I say all that because, um, I've seen people, you know, will go out of their way and then start guilting the person. I mean, obviously you can't guilt them if they're no longer living, but they, they will say that, oh, they're a bad person because they did this to their, their friends. They're like, like, they're a bad person. And it's kind of like, I really don't like that type of talk because to me, the, the person isn't necessarily trying to hurt anyone. They have a very skewed perception of the world because their mental state is so fucked up. And, you know, when you're at a point, I'm not saying everyone is like that. I'm not saying everyone with depression is like that. Obviously, I've had depression and there's been times where, you know, I have some sort of, like, rationality and I'm like, okay, well, I know this sucks, but, like, I know this is, you know, whatever. But with, like, um, people who are very severely ill, like, people are seriously at a point where they're considering suicide or if they're at a point where they are just so far into a disorder where they just cannot, you know, function normally or cannot perceive things normally. Um, that, that means there's something clearly very wrong. And the person, a lot of times those people are not trying to hurt anyone. They legitimately, you know, they're legitimately, you know, just, just good people. And like in the perception of suicide, some people, some people might even think like it would be better if I just wasn't around because I caused, you know, like problems or whatever. And I've definitely had negative intrusive thoughts like that myself. So I'm just, I'm, I'm saying, I'm using it as an example, but you know, to the point where I'm like, well, I know that's not true, but if someone is really, you know, messed up, they might not, they might not be able to distinguish that reality. And that's why these types of things happen. Again, I know this isn't about suicide prevention, this is about eating disorders, but if you are suicidal, please fucking tell someone. I say this every time, but seriously, 
the amount of I just think about the amount of lives that could be saved if someone was just like oh hey I, I'm gonna do this and like told someone I know you know the perception is like you know it's like I'm not gonna tell someone because you know I gotta go through with this but it's like if you're if you if you know you need people need to feel safe telling someone to literally anyone a friend family member go online and literally talk to someone anonymously I don't care you just need to tell someone just it, it is so like there are places to talk to people anonymously there are like text crisis lines there are different things like just talk to someone please I am so, I know I know this is not related to anything but yeah it's just something that I, I always think about but for real um please um but going back to the thing about eating disorders basically to me you know it's like again what I'm saying if, if someone you know commits suicide and then people say oh they're such an awful person because they did that they they hurt everyone around them it's like it's kind of fucked up in my opinion because you're you're not accounting for their mental illness you're not accounting for what their mindset might be their mindset might not be rational or logical and the same thing applies to something like an eating disorder and the amount of people who are like I said any sort of comments about her body are enabling just don't comment about it and second of all like even if you're saying oh my gosh she looks so sick but the big thing that's really bothering me is that there are so many people who are saying who are saying basically she she's a bad person like she's manipulating us using these thumbnails she's triggering her audience she doesn't care about the young people she's triggering blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like okay I'm not saying no one should be held accountable for their actions obviously she's an adult and like obviously yes she should be held accountable for her actions but on the other hand when someone is that severely ill immediately jumping to conclusions and saying they're a monster and a terrible person is not going to help the situation seriously again it's it's basically just saying that oh she's an awful person yeah if someone with complete you know d who didn't have a disorder was just posting senspo just to trigger people that would be completely under fucked up but if you have a disorder and I will, I will stay under the impression that you can't blame someone for existing. So if someone exists and has a disorder, you can't blame them for being thenspo. People will literally use celebrities who don't even have eating disorders as thenspo. And the sad but true fact is that even if Eugenia wasn't on YouTube, even if she wasn't making videos, even if no one ever saw her, people would still find places to get thenspo. If you want thenspo, you can find thenspo. Now, I don't mean that as advice. Please do not go looking for thenspo. It's a bad idea. Just don't do it. But um, what I'm saying is that people are always going to find a way. So even if Eugenia didn't have a platform, people would still find a way to, you know, you know, inspire themselves to starve or whatever um which again is completely fucked up um but what i'm saying here is that she is you know extremely sick and people keep assuming first of all i've seen so many people say that she doesn't want to get better and it sucks because she's just somebody said she was happy being sick she's happy you know looking the way she looks and i'm like yes people with an eating disorder might get a rush or an adrenaline high off of you know looking a certain way or reaching a certain goal however saying that someone who's that sick is genuinely happy with it um you know a lot of eating disorders are caused by desire to be satisfied with it yourself so it's like and it really is like an addiction like you can't get out of it it's a spiral so it's like it doesn't mean you're happy like oh this drug makes me happy but then you're addicted to it and you can't stop so it's like it's 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 something that assuming that she's happy and, and saying that she doesn't care and doesn't want to get help this is something that first of all this could be true she could legitimately not want to get help because she's so sick that she doesn't see that she needs help or doesn't want to admit it which in that case it's sad and again people should have empathy people should not hate her for that obviously she should get help but just don't don't shame her like don't shame her but but you're also assuming that she doesn't want to get help and we don't know that she doesn't want to get help because there is a possibility there is a possibility that she wants to get help but she can't because her mother's enabling her she's stuck living with her mother and either doesn't see how toxic her mother is doesn't want to admit it or doesn't know what to do to get out of the situation or her mother could be manipulating her in some way we just don't know like we literally don't know I, um it's 
honestly so ridiculous to assume what Eugenia wants, because again, if her mother's literally not letting her out of her room at certain times, then that just goes to show that her mother has too much control over her life, and again, it's alarming. I really think this needs to be taken to court. Like, someone, I don't know who could intervene and take this to court, but someone needs to, because like, she should not be living with her mother, because I think her mother is definitely enabling her, but also, I don't know if she's capable of living by herself, so that would be a whole other issue, um, you know, that should be taken to court. Obviously, right now, she probably needs to go to the hospital. That's a completely a different issue. But, um, I'm just making the point that, um, in the future, you know, assuming nothing goes wrong, that, you know, she, she really, that this needs to be, this needs to be addressed. There does need to be an intervention. I don't know who can do it, I, I mean, but there, there needs to be something. It's, it's honestly genuinely disturbing, but again, I'm saying we don't know for sure what Eugenia wants, so automatically saying she doesn't want help is dumb, because you don't know her situation, you don't know what her mother might be preventing her from doing, you literally don't know, and you're like, oh, she's an adult, but she's a very sick adult, and she isn't in a situation where she's able to really stand up for herself, so honestly, please stop assuming what Eugenia wants, because that's stupid, and also, if she doesn't want help, that's, because, again, also because she's incredibly sick, so that goes back to not having empathy. Now, I've seen a lot of people make her out like she's the villain, like she's a terrible person, and I agree some of what she's doing isn't okay and shouldn't be done. Like, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, putting thinspo type of things in your thumbnail, it's, it's not good. It's gonna trigger people, it's gonna ca cause issues for people. I get that that's fucked up. However, I think she's at the point where she's too sick to necessarily realize what she's doing. And everyone's like, oh, we know what she's doing. Like, she's some mass manipulator or some shit. And I really don't see it. Now, I'm going to go back to another situation I talked about recently. The Kwan Mina situation where she posted graphic images of her self-harm on Instagram. And got completely, you know, people were saying, oh, she's, um, you know, she shouldn't post this because it's triggering. And I'm like, I understand that she shouldn't post it because like I understand why it's bad for her to post those images however however um there's also a thought to be there's also something to consider which is that she might be too sick to realize what she's doing or to be considerate of people's triggers because she's so desperate she's desperate to you know in that case she was desperate for help even if she didn't want to admit it and you know posted those pictures because she was desperate for help and just desperate for justice obviously Eugenia may or may not be desperate for help also, the thumbnails could be something her mother's doing. It could be a tactic that her mother's doing to try to get more clicks. It could be something that Eugenia's doing because she's too sick to realize what she's doing. It could be something that she's doing because maybe maybe if she uses those, maybe it could be a cry for help, but, but people aren't seeing it that way. Who the fuck knows? Y'all are coming to the conclusion that she's the villain here. And that, again, I'm not getting into the other accusations and other stuff, but specifically talking about the disorder and all that, you're basically victim blaming. You're basically saying, and I understand she people need to be responsible for their actions. I'm not condoning what she's doing, but I'm saying, can 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 these people have a shred of empathy? Maybe try to explain nicely why it's, why it's triggering, or maybe don't at all, because probably the best thing to do right now is to get some sort of intervention in there, get her deplatformed, honestly, for her own good. Again, so her mother can stop using her for views and clicks and money. And there needs to be, like, a legal intervention with her family. Like, she should not be living with her mother. She, you know, there needs to be an intervention. She also needs to go to the hospital. But she can't just go to treatment and get out, because she'll just end up back in the same position. So this whole thing needs to go to court. But obviously, as random people online, we can't do much about it. So I would say if you're going to comment anything, comment something positive, and I don't mean about her body. Like I said, don't say, oh, you're beautiful, because, again, that's going to enable her. But just... But if you just want to comment something positive in general, that's fine. Honestly, saying that, or, you know, saying that you'd support her if she got help, or saying that you support her getting help, or something like that, I don't know. Going out of your way to leave negative comments isn't going to help. Painting her out as a monster, that's literally not going to solve anything. And again, probably being, po being negative reinforcement is not going to motivate her to get help. Negative reinforcement is just going to dig her deeper into the hole, and the fact that the internet culture is capable of doing this is genuinely disgusting. So, please stop with the negative reinforcement. Seriously, it's, it's, it's genuinely disturbing. Now, 
again, I would advise don't enable her, don't watch her videos, don't, you know, if you just don't want to interact with her at all, that's also fine. You don't have to be spamming her with positive comments or anything. You can just not interact with her. I think that's also fine. I think ignoring her is another valid thing to do. But what's not a valid thing to do is to is to spread negativity, to say that she's trying to hurt people when you don't know that. And even if she's, you know, hurting people, it may be unintentional. Also, um, so you do not know that she's intentionally trying to hurt people. And if she's too sick to realize it, that's not something that you have, oh, zero empathy for her. I don't even feel sorry for her. I don't even feel sad. This is just, you know, it's like, where where is y'all's empathy? Like, I don't understand. Like, I, how can you be so completely immune to this type of thing? Like, how can people just, just think it's fine for something like this to happen? I don't, I don't understand. It's genuinely really disturbing, and I really, really hope that she gets help. Um, again, I, the situation is not looking good, but like I said, please don't, please don't say this shit online. Don't assume what she wants. Don't, don't speak for her, because it, it, it's, it's honestly really stupid. It's like, we don't know what's going on with her home situation. We don't know what's going on with her mother. We don't know all the details of that. So please don't assume that she, she knew, oh, she doesn't want to get better. Oh, she's a, she's the bad guy. She's trying to hurt people. I seriously doubt, it's like, oh, she knows what she's doing, she's manipulating us. It could easily be a manipulation tactic. People can do manipulative things unintentionally or can do manipulative things and they don't even realize how, how hurtful they are, they're being. That's perfectly, that happens a lot. So I'm not trying to say, oh, it's not manipulation or, oh, she should just keep doing what she's doing. There's no problem here. Of course there's a problem. What I'm trying to say is that assuming that she's actively out there being a villain and trying to hurt kids is fucking... Well, and maybe I shouldn't have used the word kids because, again, there are, there are accusations. Now, it wasn't her, um, it wasn't her, it was some of her, um, mods and, but that's a whole other thing I'm not going to go into because, that, again, it's not really related to this specific issue. This specific issue is people who are lacking empathy because of her disorder and people who seem to think that she is just, she's just a bad person because she's so sick. And honestly, I, I don't think, but I think it should be the responsibility of YouTube to take her off. Obviously, she's not going to stop making triggering content. It's something that, oh, she should be responsible for it. But yeah, she's she's extremely ill. So it's like, like with Mina, when I was talking about Mina, I said that people shouldn't be blaming her for posting those images because she's not, she's not, she was literally at points multiple times where she was suicidal. Um, so like I already mentioned, someone who's suicidal probably doesn't have an accurate perception of, you know, just what things are. So, so her reaching out in that way, you know, is really, um, it's really great. Like, um, her reaching out in that way, it's, it's not the best, you know, I, I agree, it's triggering, she maybe shouldn't, like, it's irresponsible for her to do that, but I don't genuinely think the thought that's going through her head is, oh, I'm gonna post this image of self-harm and I'm gonna trigger someone, I don't think that's a leg legitimate thought that is going through her head, I think the thought that's going through her head is, oh my god, I need help, I need people to see how bad this is, like, so, it's just an example of, please, please, you do not know what situation people are in, and please try to have a shred of empathy for people's mental illness. I'm not saying you have to shower Eugenia in kisses or some shit, but please, for the love of God, if it's really bothering or if it does trigger you, ignore it. That is honestly the best thing you can do for yourself and for everyone else, because you are not promoting her content and an algorithm. If you literally just ignore her, I think that is probably the smartest thing to do at this point. And again... Don't enable her in any way, shape, or form. Positive or negative comments about her body, regardless of what they are, do not enable her. Seriously, it's genuinely disturbing. And I just don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, this is so upsetting that people don't seem to have the tiniest bit of empathy in order to, um, you know, just, just be, be a decent human being and try to understand someone else's struggle. Try to understand, you know, it, don't just automatically assume someone's a terrible human being because they're doing something that's that's bad because they're incredibly sick or have a skewed perception so please please don't assume and also don't assume what she wants oh she doesn't want to get better how do you know that you don't know she could want to get better but her mother could not be enabling her not you know there are so many things that could be going on here there are so many other facets to this people are just assuming she's this terrible person and i'm like and oh the nice girl image is all an act i don't i don't think so i think She's legitimately a nice girl who is very sick and has done some shit that's not good because her perception is so, you know, 
and and the issue is not related to this she definitely needs to take responsibility for it absolutely but again maybe maybe work on saving her life first maybe get her in a good mental state I mean maybe that's you know the thing you should be worried about and then say oh hey you need to take responsibility for all this shit that happened but again just just please try to understand people and don't be ter just 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 try seriously it's genuinely something that is so disturbing and I, I again I hope everything works out but people really need to stop um making assumptions and speaking for people who are mentally ill please stop anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you watched yeah this was really triggering but um I'm here and yeah anyway guys thank you for watching like I said sorry if I triggered you I'm gonna put ample trigger warnings on the video but yeah anyway hope you understand that and I'll see you all next time hopefully with a lighter topic bye